Uh, good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk about how to install a FlexLM license manager on a Linux server. But first I think it's important to understand a little bit about how the FlexLM process actually works. So let's start on the client side. You've installed one of our software programs. During installation, you've told it that you want to use a Flex network license. It should set up a file called ACS key that contains the string Flex Manager, Flex Manager seven times. When you start the application, it reads this ACS key first and it sees that it should be getting a license from a Flex Manager. So what it does then is it looks for an environment variable called artwork license file. And that variable should contain a port and a server name. So given it has this information, it will now send a message via TCP IP socket to the license server. If you have a firewall and it prevents outgoing transmission, then you have to open up the port 27005. On this side, you have a license server, and the LMGRD service has been configured to listen on 27005. So it gets the request for a license. Embedded in that request is the company that made the product. In our case, it's Artwork. So LMGRD has one or more daemons running, and one of them will be called Artwork, and that daemon will be handed over this request for a license, and it'll look up in the features as to uh, what licenses are available, and it knows how many are available, and assuming that one is available, it will send the message back to the client. However, the message doesn't go on the same pipeline. The message will go back either on some new port that has not been specified and which is picked in a, in a sense in an automatic fashion. Or if you've specified a port on the vendor line, then it will go back through the port you specified. And the reason you'll want to specify a port on the vendor line in some cases is the nature of the firewall. Some firewalls block everything in and let everything out. However, other firewalls block everything in and block everything out except on selected ports or for selected programs. So if that's the nature of the firewall, then uh, one has to open up two ports, the incoming port, so to speak, and the responding port. So you're able to control the responding port by putting port number on the vendor line that indicates what port it should respond on. So your firewall will determine whether you need to do a fixed port on the response or whether you can let it negotiate a return. When the client gets the OK to go, that's when the application will start up. When you're done and you close the application, during the cleanup process, a message is sent back saying that I'm done with the license, the license is released, and the artwork daemon can then update its database to say, make that license available to somebody else.